Word from the Lord. Today's word from the Lord comes from Ephesians chapter 3 and verse number 20. It reads like this. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Just for a moment, I want to talk about great expectations. One of the things about great expectations is that when we serve a God that's so great, it simply means that we whom that are God's Christians and God's people, we should have great expectations. One of the problems with great expectations is that, that we have so many trials and so many tribulations, so many ups and so many downs until when we get pressed and when we get stressed out, our expectations become smaller. And when our expectations become smaller, our God becomes smaller. Great expectations is one of the things that every child of God, I think, ought to keep at the top of our list. We serve a great God. And parallel, we ought to have great expectations. It's like this. If I buy a Corvette, I buy it because of what it is and high performance. And I have great expectations for the car because it's that kind of car. If I buy a Ford Focus, I don't expect that kind of performance out of a Ford Focus because it's not that kind of car. I serve a God that can do anything that's bigger than anything, that's larger than any problem that I have. As a result, my expectations ought to be grown. One of the things that I want, want to, to, to bring from the text for just a, a moment is, I believe that there are, are uh, three eyes here that can be used uh, out of this text. Uh, I ask for it, I look for it, and I wait for it. Great expectation. When I say I ask for it, uh, the Bible says in, in, in Matthew 7, in verse number 7, Ask and it shall be given, seeking you'll find, knock and it shall be opened to you. In other words, if I'm going to ask for something, first of all, uh, when I ask, I want to know that the person is able to give my request. In our text, Ephesians 3.20, it says exceeding abundantly more than we can ask or think. But every child of God ought ever be free to ask the Father who owns everything and has everything to have a great expectation to just ask for it. James says, 4 and 2, he says, you have not because you ask not. In other words, go ahead and ask him because God is able. So I ask for it, then I look for it. Have an expectation, look for the blessing. Look for good things. In other words, uh, when I'm looking, there are, there are two aspects here in looking. Look physically, look mentally. Physically, I look with my eye to see the coming and what the blessing is going to be. And then I look mentally. My mind is always there to look and keep reaching and keep expanding as I uh, look for my blessing. And then... Uh, the writer says in Hebrews 11 and 10, uh, for he looked for a city uh, whose builder and maker is God. In other words, his attention is always on that he's reaching for, that he's looking for. It's interesting that, that, that we uh, sometimes we want to settle uh, for the average when the best is on the same shelf. In other words, why are you reaching for that which is average when it's right next to the best if I'm God's child, I always want the best and God always give the best. So ask for it and then look for it. And then after I do that, then I'll wait for it. Just, just, just wait. Hold on to your faith. Hold on to your belief. God will bless. It's interesting in waiting because in Isaiah 40 and verse 31, you know, the Bible says, but they that wait on the Lord, they that Sit there and stand there, hold to their faith, hold to their belief. Just wait on the Lord. The blessings are coming. The blessings will be there, but you've got to wait on the Lord. you got to stay there so your strength will be renewed. If you stay there and God's going to bless you, 
I guarantee you, if you hold on, if you ask for it, you look for it, you wait for it, God will give it to you. If you use these three ingredients, you can always have a great expectation.